So now I'm flying the Cebu and I've trimmed it to fairly same values as uh, in Cosim. Gears down, should have that in that speed, but okay. I have gears down and basically the same. And look up, look how my ailerons and, and controls are controlling when I, I turn. So if, for example, I, if I just turn it to 10 degrees of turn, it's very, very slowly. I haven't put any ailerons in. Slowly goes down. If I put some, if I put it to 20, yes, it starts descending. And if I put some back pressure on, uh, put some back pressure on to keep altitude, see the mount, it's very little uh, to keep the altitude. And basically no aileron input, as you can see. No aileron input, as you can see. If I go to 30 degrees, I put a little more back pressure. And I go to 30 degrees and I stay here at 30 degrees and basically no no aileron input to keep it at, at 30 degrees. This is how it was in level D. I could very easy keep keep this in level D. It was unbelievably simple and according to to my pilot friend it was it is even simpler in, in real life, but then you have the wind to count for. But no aileron input to keep this turn, and uh, very little back pressure to keep the turn. Of course, if I trim it out to, to not have any back pressure, I could still keep this turn and, and uh, have extremely little aileron input. To, to keep this turn. Well, let's, let's, let's try to trim it to neutral. So now I'm keeping the turn. I'm <laughs> having it fairly, fairly good uh, trimmed, a little more. Uh, in this turn. Now I have it basically perfect in trim. Keep this turn. And I now I've let go of the controls. You see, it's just keeping its altitude. Attitude. Very, very, very slowly goes back to neutral. And I believe that that's... I, I think in level D it was even less sailor input to keep it in a turn. Anyway, if I go back to this, we have a very strange... And I have, of course, have to trim it forward to, to, to uh, keep that 